Hello Anna and thank you for giving me this opportunity to share on your platform. My name is Stephen, I'm a 53 year old joiner and I live in County Down in Northern Ireland. There are two things that are important to me, uh, my family and my faith and I'd like to um, talk on those two areas. If I'm looking down it's just because I'm referring to some bullet points that I've made because I'm not naturally a, a gifted speaker. First of all my family. I'm the first born of uh, five boys and two girls, six boys and two girls. Grew up in a family of eight and my brothers and sisters are all married now and most of them have children of their own. My family is very important to me, uh, but as yet, I'm the only one in my family group that would would be awake, as as uh, Mr. Co Dr. Coleman refers to. Uh, I can see what's going on as far as this Corona flu is concerned. At the start of this lockdown, our family isolated. When I say our family, I mean. I'm married and I have a wife, um, a daughter of 16 and a son of 12. At the start of this lockdown we isolated ourselves, locked ourselves away for two weeks, uh, washed down our groceries, washed our hands, socially distanced, uh, did everything we're meant to do and we lived in fear. It was at that time that I was working and I was that that work I was removing a an old time plastered rendering uh, an old time wall made of old time render um, and I developed a high temperature and a migraine and I was convinced that I had the COVID virus um, I went and got tested and the test came back negative uh, subsequently found out that there were there were there was horse hair in the old time rendering that I had a, a reaction to. But I was living in fear, my family living in fear, that if I caught this virus I would die. I was so fearful that I started, when I, when I developed a high temperature, I wrote letters to my children telling them that I loved them and giving them advice for the future. So that shows you how fearful I was. Um, Shortly after that, I was, I was asked to prepare a message for our, our church. Uh, I'll talk about my faith. I, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. And my faith is very important to me. I was asked to prepare a message for church. And I chose the subject, what does the Bible have to say about fear? And most of the time it says, fear not, for I'm with you. God is with us. I believe that God is sovereign and that he's in control. And although we wrestle against... I believe this is this corona virus epidemic pandemic is evil the reaction to it certainly is um, I can't get my head around why our government would lie to us politicians have trusted for a lifetime I can't get my head around why the media uh, would lie to us having watched the BBC uh, for a lifetime my faith is very important to me, and as I say, I now go to church on a Sunday morning. We've returned to worshiping in a building, and I'm the only one that doesn't wear a mask, and I have refused to wear a mask. Uh, one because I don't see it's of any use, and I believe also it's a sign of repression, subjection. Choose whatever words you want to use. I, I will not wear a mask. Say, the thing I find hardest is that my wife's not totally supportive. She doesn't really understand where I'm coming from. My daughter is all is almost getting the picture. Uh, she's she's a little bit supportive. Um, my children are returning to school shortly in September, and they're being forced to wear masks all day. I'm not happy about that. 
I said to my daughter I'd get her a visor, but Daddy I would be the only one with a visor I'd stand out. I, 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 I look stupid. Only the teachers are wearing visors. It's hard for my children. Uh, for me, I, I'm used to taking a stand and, and being seen to be different. Uh, but when you're in the church with your spiritual family and you're the only one not wearing a mask, it's hard and I feel alone. Um, recently, my family, they had a WhatsApp page and I would send, up, send to it videos that I considered uh, very informative and, and um, that explained what was happening as far as this COVID, COVID, um, just what the situation was. Uh, like videos explaining about the death rate, videos explaining about uh, from Vernon Coleman or is it Case Demick video, uh, the doctors in America that were promoting hydrochloroquine, useful videos like that. I, I love my family and I thought that the videos that I was sharing I, I did, I, sh I shared them because I love my family and I wanted them to as Vernon refers to, as Dr Coleman says I wanted them to be awake like me but my s brother asked me why are you putting up those 